Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about to find the shear force in bending moment of any uh, problem given to us by the general four steps. So I will explain this shear force in bending moment diagram with the four steps. So the first step is the uh, to find the support reactions. To find the support reactions. So. I will find the support reactions here. Consider this is the A and this is the B having a load of 10 kN acting at the center of this beam having length of 5 meter on the left side of the load and 5 meter on the right side of the load. So the total length of the beam is 10 meter. So by finding the support reactions first we have to consider the summation of the moment at A is equal to 0. The moment at A is equal to 0 so at the support reactions this is the RB and this is the RA so RB will come out to be RB into 10 10 is the moment arm it is acting anti-clockwise so we take it as positive while this is acting is clockwise so we take it as negative it is our exemptions so minus 10 is the load and the moment arm is 5 so the summation of moment is equal to 0 at point A now the RB will be equal to the if I, if I move on the right side so it comes out to be 10 into 5 while 10 here so RB comes out to be 50 dividing here here moving into this side comes out to be 10 so by cancelling out it comes out to be 5 kN it means that RB will resist 5 kN of the load similarly if we do the summation of FY is equal to 0 so the uh, vertical loads are one is the RA is acting upward the 10 kN load is acting downward and again the RB is acting upward which is 5 kN so we can say that the upward load is represented by positive sign and the downward load is represented by negative sign so we can get our answer so positive is 5 plus RA and minus negative is equal to the 10 which is 10 is equal to 0 so our a comes out to be by moving these two on the right side we get out to be 10 minus 5 which is 5 kN so the ra is also 5 kN that means that the 10 kN is evenly distributed between the two supports um, and the ra and rb the second step is to find is to draw the reference line the second is the reference line so what we do we will draw the reference line for the shear force diagram and the two reference line is the shear force in the unit of kN because the load is in the unit of kN and the reference line is represented by 0 and 0 here so the third the third one is the, the arrows drawing the accurate arrows for the shear force arrows this is very important to know about the accurate arrows for the shear force diagram. For example, now I'm solving this example by the arrows to find the shear force. This is 5 kN here. So what I will do, I will start the arrow drawing here 5 kN. It's moving upward up to the 5 kN. So 5 kN here. And then there is no load on the beam. So it will move straight away with the 0 degree line. And then it is 10 kN so what I will do I will put the arrow down and 10 minus 5 because 5 is here and 5 is acting upward and 10 is acting downward so 5 minus 10 is equal to minus 5 so it means minus 5 is acting downward and there again there is no load on the beam so I will again move it here so it means this is 5 kN and this is 5 kN so this is how we draw the arrows for the shear force diagram the last step is the is to calculate the areas to know the bending moment diagram here is also 5 kN to find the area of this and this we will get the bending moment diagram again the reference line is being extended for the moment diagram the reference line being 0 0 for the bending moment moment and the unit of kN into meter so the area of this can be found out 
5 is the length and 5 meter is the width so 5 into 5 we come out to be 25 5 is the length height and 5 is the width so 5 into 5 25 so here it's 0 the moment because hinge support uh, resist no moment and here is also should be 0 because the roll support resist no moment so 5 into 5 25 it is 0 degree line so it will be 1 degree line up to the 25 kN into meter 25 kN newton into meter is the maximum moment here at the center of this beam again from here this is also 5 meter is the length while 5 kN newton is the depth of this rectangle so 5 into 5 25 so it means at the 25 it will comes out to be here and zero here because the roller and the hinge support uh, resist no moment uh, in structure that's why the moment diagram should be zero at the uh, end of the this diagram of this beam so the maximum moment acting at the uh, center of this beam is 25 kilonewton into meter and we can found out this moment by the areas by knowing the areas of this uh, rectangle so you can find the uh, uh, bending moment in shear force diagram of any beam by following these four steps first to find the support reactions then to draw the reference line for shear force and bending moment then to draw the areas for the shear force and then to draw the areas and then to find out the area from the shear force to calculate the bending moment you can uh, you can draw the shear force of and bending moment of any beam uh, by following these four steps so don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos thank you for watching our video